this music video was supposed to be for uh, tere bina but that didn't happen yeah. i just loved you know collaborating with people cuz i just get like a completely new approach to uh, you know making music you know i i just personally believe when you're at the top you just have to be a good person and it's always wonderful when you know good things happen with good people i w- i would say love is like selfless Welcome to Radio City Indie Exchange with me Vijay Lakshmi and guess who we have here in the house Sahil Sharma aka Zaden how are you I'm good how's it going with you I hope all well Oh yes all well this side but firstly before we get started before we go ahead in at Radio City Indie Exchange well uh, belated birthday wishes are in order very very happy birthday Thank to you, so you. I think Thank it's been so 10 much. days Yes pretty much yeah and i guess it's because uh, it's your it was your birthday which is why you chose to release uh, you know your uh, latest album genesis one is to one is that how we uh, pronounce it yeah genesis one yeah genesis one also like congratulations you've had a very very eventful 2020 you released at least five tracks from the album as you know as you know as a run up to your uh, big album release which happened last week uh, but before we get talking about that uh, let me just ask you how has this year been for you how has 2020 treated you um i would say it's been full of highs and lows ups and downs um the, the second wave was you know um really bad this time to be honest uh, especially you know personally i lost my uncle to covid so that was um, oh, i'm sorry know. to hear that uh, i'm very yeah, sorry to hear that no no it's okay and um but yeah i think i got a lot of uh, time to work on my music uh, there were a few delays with the uh, genesis as well but uh, i'm just so happy that the you know the entire album is finally out uh, we initially planned to you know just release three singles and then you know put out the entire album um but yeah you know towards the end of it we we just thought it's better to you know release some singles and yeah as i said i'm just really happy uh, the uh, entire album is finally out and i'm loving uh, you know the, the response and uh, i think people are really liking it so that makes me very happy well uh, i think uh, with genesis you introduce yourself as a singer songwriter and uh, you've always been known popularly as a dj as an electronica artist but now you have the transition to a singer songwriter too so firstly how did you decide that this was uh, <laughs> you know the switch you wanted to give to your career this is how you wanted to actually uh, tread into a, a new territory for yourself um well to a lot of people this seems a little sudden but um, it's actually been uh, you know happening for a while like it's taken me 3 to 4 years i would say um to, you know finally get on this uh, track with you know just uh, singing and writing music um i started off uh, with just covering songs um i remember my first cover was uh, the song called i like me better by love and um i think yeah. his team really liked uh, that cover and we were you know um, approached by his team to uh, make a proper cover of uh, his new song called um, uh, i'm so tired with choice of one um so that's that's how it pretty much started i think i really needed that push and once um you know love really like that cover i thought you know if if he's liking it maybe you know i'm not that bad of a singer so why not you know start making my own songs and um and after that tere bina happened which was um a, i would say the song was pretty much done in like 2 3 days and um and yeah all thanks to uh, kunal verma for helping me out with the words as well and um and yeah after that you know tere uh, bina started you know doing really well and that just gave me the confidence you know uh, work on more songs and genesis actually just started with uh, you know two to three songs it was just like an experiment and two to three songs this turned out to be uh, you know an entire album because i was you know in that in that work mode i was just like you know constantly working on a lot of ideas a lot of melodies a lot of uh, you know demos and um, and yeah that that's how genesis happened so i would say the transition has you know taken a while and of course it's it's a completely different world for me from uh, djing and producing music um so i would say it's just like full of learnings every day well uh, i think uh, what uh, must be appreciated about you uh, zaden is um the kind of collaborations you have uh, i think uh, with 2020 also it witnessed you uh, besides the releases that you released from your album 
um i think there was kahani with says on the beat there was uh, lost stories with uh, i mean there was sorry there was nood with lost stories in akanksha bhandari um and of course uh, genesis has some killer collaborations with uh, yashraj with kunal varma with hanika bambri with um, akash with mm-hmm. uh, polar beats and tom norris um so how do you look at collab how do you view collaborations i'm sure i think you really enjoy doing them but uh, I, I, I what is honestly, it about collaborations that make you yeah mm, i i i just love you know collaborating with people because i just get like a completely new approach to uh, you know making music uh, a completely different way to you know start uh, working on ideas and everything um and as you mentioned about the features um, that time i was you know just working on genesis that that time i probably had like three four songs ready and um, it was just amazing to uh, work on noor with lost stories a kahani with says and um, and even on this album uh, we have uh, you know yashraj who's one of my favorite collaborators i just love working with him just for the fact cuz he's so fast i'm going to send him a beat and he's going to be yeah. done with this bits in like you know one hour so i love that about him and um, and this album also has a track with uh, nishay from parikin singh and i'm a very yeah. very big singing fan um i've just been a very big fan of their entire aesthetic their music their songwriting um and i actually met uh, nisha in dubai as well um after the first wave i think and um, and yeah it was just like really inspiring to meet him uh, he has like a completely different approach when it comes to music so it's just always good to you know learn from others when you're collaborating and sometimes when you just you know working on a song alone I honestly get bored sometimes you know if I'm just like constantly working on some ideas and sometimes it just like all starts to sound the same so it's just interesting to get like a you know different um, different mind on 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 that song so that's why I just love col- collaborating and um, even on Genesis we have uh, one of the best engineers in the world um, and I personally wanted to go for uh, you know really really high quality sound when it comes to you know uh, the entire sonics of uh, Genesis and we had uh, Tom Norris to mix a few of the songs and um and yeah that that's that's like pretty much all the collaborations we have hanita as well um i just love her tone um i'm a big fan of her music i love chaira and right after that i you know hit her up on insta and we started working on a song well i must say uh, i mean the, your collaboration with her especially kahu to mai bhi kya was uh, such a respite and you know it was a uh, solace for a lot of us uh, you know during the second wave especially because th- i think that was when you uh, not only released the audio track you also released the music video of the song and yeah. uh, you know it 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 gave so many people hope it gave so many people you know a redefined perspective of how they view love uh, so how did i mean th- that music video itself is only so beautiful so how did uh, how much of an input did you uh, provide to you know the way the music video came out um so that's a funny story it's it's about <laughs> um this we- music video was supposed to be for uh, tere bina but that didn't happen yeah. and uh, the script was always in my mind you know i just wanted to do something around um, you know uh, someone else not just me you know every story every music video shouldn't be just you know around my love life or like you know whatever i'm doing in life um so i thought why not you know do something around um and and during that time um um i i i just like wanted to do something around like an older couple and um you must have seen the, like the music video starts saying like sk house that's the name of my um house yeah. in in you know, and uh, my dada ji's oh. name uh, wow. surinder kumar so that's sk sharma so i just like you know uh, place it in there and i i just wanted to you know do something different uh, on the music video and uh, uh, luckily hanita also loved the script and both of us decided you know why not just do it around them and see how it goes and uh, tim who's the director I, i think he did an amazing job with the entire thing so i'm very happy how the music video turned up and um, and yeah a lot of people liked it so i'm very happy with kahun to maybe kya well uh, i think with this album you really are looking at a lot of different diverse perspectives you know about the universal emotion that we better know as love um so if i may ask you without sounding intrusive or personal what to you and how do you view love as an emotion mm, that's actually a trick question um i don't know i mean i've i've I w- I would say love is like selfless for me like when I when I love someone of so for me personally it's just like a feeling of um a lot of care selflessness and yeah pretty much that 
Um, so, uh, Zayden, very interestingly, you started uh, DJing when you were just 14. I think it was an Armin uh, Van Buren's uh, composition that, you know, that really uh, sparked the interest or the passion in you. Um, and you had learned the tabla and uh, I think you had learned the tabla also yeah, as, yeah. An, uh, as a young, I, I boy, as a young boy. Tabla. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, from there to now releasing your own uh, independent album, how do you look back at your journey in uh, retrospect? Oh, it's just crazy. As you said, like I started off with Tabla and I never knew I'm going to get into dance music. That's like, you know, a completely different world. Um, but yeah, I remember, you know, I started off with Tabla in my school assemblies. After that, I started playing the guitar and uh, then I was a part of a school band as well. And um, I attended bunch of shows with my sister because she was like a very big dance music fan um so i i think i it was a marcus shoes concert in 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 delhi and um i think that really changed everything for me i i saw him DJ and i was like wow like this, this sound sonically is like so different and that's what you know really pulled me to dance music and um after that, I just started making a lot of uh, unofficial remixes, like, you know, bootlegs and everything. And luckily, I was supported by Hardwell during uh, during that time. Uh, but I, I would just say the entire journey has, has just been like full of transitions. I, I just personally love challenging myself. Um, and, if, and I think a lot of musicians out there, sometimes they feel, you know, stuck in their sound, stuck in, you know, um, a phase. So for me, I, I just like love taking a risk during that phase and somehow just like, you know, it always works out because I, you know, put in the best effort and everything. But um, but yeah, I, I would just say it's like being full of uh, transitions, of course, like anyone's journey, it's been full of highs and lows. Um, but I'm really, really happy about, you know, um, how things have uh, turned out. Um, and finally, I've reached a stage where I have my uh, album. Um, and yeah, I'm just like looking forward to completely change up the sound after this album and work on something new. Well, for those who do not know um, Zayden, why did you choose uh, the stage name Zayden? Like, what was it about the name that uh, interested you? Um, so actually, Zayden means out of the box thinking in Latin. My my real name is Sahil Shama. It's like one of the most common names in India. And obviously, yeah. I, once I started doing all these DJing shows, um, I, I needed like a stage name. And uh, Zayden means out of the box thinking. And Z is like the ca uh, catchiest like alphabet. So I just mixed it up. It's it's yeah. Honest, it's very stupid, but that, that's how it was made. I, I think I was 17 when I came up with uh, Zayden. So yeah, I was just stupid. <laughs> but now I'm so used to the name. Sometimes my mom is calling me Zayden, so it's funny. <laughs> uh, Sahil, I see that you, uh, you know, you're very experimental uh, with uh, a lot of other things. You have other interests also, um, fashion being one of them. You've been... Uh, you know, uh, judged by GQ as one of the best dressed uh, artists we have. You, uh, you know, collaborated with Shantanu and Nikhil and Siddharth title. Uh, you just recently did, uh, you know, a huge digital ad with uh, Sara Ali Khan. Uh, so how do you look at, you know, uh, exploring various other avenues in your capacity as an artist? To be very, very honest with you, I haven't really tried, um, you know, tried really hard. I just take it really easy. I just like, you know, wear whatever I'm comfortable in. And somehow this fashion thing is... Uh, worked out for me um, but yeah to be honest I've never really tried to you know do this or that um, but I, I mean whatever collaborations I've had have been you know amazing with the uh, Shantanu Nikhil with Siddharth title even the Puma campaign I did um, but yeah I mean to answer your question it's, it's just like I, I take it super easy again I, I'm always wearing these oversized t-shirts and um, even my <laughs> new merch is like you know even the new merchandise has you know only oversized t-shirts um, so I just like put out whatever I'm comfortable in and somehow it's worked out for me so I guess I'm just blessed so basically comfort is key for you whether it's in your music or in your passion 100% simplicity always wins so, uh, Zayden, you have represented, uh, you know, India at some of the biggest music festivals, whether it's Tomorrowland or Maranostrum. Um, you even opened up for uh, Justin Bieber also. Uh, so, whenever you are collaborating at the global stage, or, uh, you know, whenever you're performing at the global stage, uh, what is it you learn about uh, their influences or their process that you hope um, Indian artists or even you could personally imbibe? Uh, most of the people, like most of the shows you've talked about, I I haven't really spent time with the artists, like, you know, just working on music. When you're at shows, you know, you're yeah. just chilling, you're just, you know, having a good time. But what I've really learned is something at a personal level, I would say most of the, you know, big artists I've met have, have been super, super, super humble. 
and um, you know i i just personally believe when you're at the top you just have to be a good person and it's always wonderful when you know good things happen with good people um i remember um, when rishab and i or rishab from lost stories we were playing tomorrow and we just got yeah. done with us that and we saw jay bagun like you know just going for a set and it wow. was just like, so inspiring to see that guy like he was so um, humble like he's coming up to us he's asking us questions like it should be kind of like the other way he's giving us high fives it, it was just like you know super super sweet overall and that just like taught me how important it is to be you know um a good person like it you don't you don't have to be like a big or small or whatever artist uh you just have to be a good person and as i said before you know just amazing amazing to see good things happening with good people so i think that's been like my biggest thing because i remember when when i was you know getting all these things at at an early age i um i did have you know like an off route and i just started getting you know um carried away with these things you know early success early fame and all that stuff um but i think it was important for me to meet these guys um at festivals and you know learn from them how they are how they um you know are in person so i would say humility is like one of the biggest things how important or rather where do you think should an artist draw a line not exactly draw a line but should an artist really chase uh these metrics that you know that's quite the norm these days these popularity trends or should artists focus more on just putting out their music there i think it's very easy to say that but you know when you're when you're in it when you're doing all these things it's it's very human like you know to to get carried away with the numbers the metrics and everything but um as long as you're doing what you love and as long as you're happy with yourself then that's what matters cuz i yeah. remember like when i was running after i this was exactly after tere bina cuz the song did super well and after that i was like oh like yeah. how do i this now how do i you know give a bigger song and and the, and i i wasn't able to make a song during that time cuz just the pressure was was so intense like i'm 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 just thinking about you know um is this song going to be a hit i'm not even like you know putting my heart and soul into that song i'm just like thinking if the song is going to be a hit or not um so i think it's just important just important to be aware of all these things you know awareness in in such situations is so important and um and i remember i was like you know i'm not even able to you know make a song so what's the point of you know giving a big or small so i'm just not able to finish off anything so let's just try to make a song and see what happens and after that i was like you know just completely shut my nose was like okay if the song is going to do well i i just stopped thinking about that and um i and that's when kya karu happened and the song turned out to be even bigger in a way so so i think that's that's very important you should just be aware in those situations and uh, just try to do what you love and you know just be comfortable you don't really think are people going to like the song as long as you're liking the song i think you know it it always works out you just have to challenge yourself because that's what i try to do with every song like obviously on genesis there is like you know sonically everything has to sit well since it's an album but after this i just want to completely change my sound and work on something new um and i might have that situation again where i'm like okay this is so different from genesis are people going to accept it or not but you know what I, i'll just do it anyway cuz i like it so i think that's very important well i must say i haven't come across a, a more self aware perspective than that uh, so kudos to you on that uh, zaden uh, just before we sign off quickly um uh, I want to ask you you know a lot of artists these days they are trying to make uh, music on issues that you know concern them that like a lot of artists are focused towards uh, making music that address mental health or some of them actually want to address environmental concerns through their music is there something that I can ask you that concerns you as an artist mm-hmm. and you hope to address through your music uh, what would that be so i personally i'm working on a bunch of worship songs i'm i'm like very close to god um so that's something that i personally wish to do um so i i'm working right now on two worship songs and um and yeah let's see like hopefully uh we're we're in touch with you know some some big christian labels as well so let's see if, if that works out i i mean in any case i just do want to put out something uh, out there for you know just for my sake and we were discussing about something very similar in the last question um so yeah before i kick off my english project um these two worship songs uh, should be out um, i'm just like constantly working on it and yeah i just hope people like it well I'll, all i can say is i wish you all the best zaden and uh, thank you for the wonderful music that you've been giving us uh, through all these years and um, onward and upwards from here all the thank best to you so so much thank you you have a good day Rain.